Hi lovelies! It's Saturday and I actually got to see both of you today. Yay! We went shopping for Easter dresses and that was amazing. We all got really pretty dresses and I'm super excited. And we're going to have to post lots of pictures on Easter Sunday um, together because we're going to look fabulous! <laughs> Anyway, and then after that, we got to see a lot of our family, and shout out to Sandy Bird, who I hadn't seen in ages. Oh, my heart. So it was really good to see her today and get to talk to her a lot and geek out about Doctor Who, which is always fabulous. Um, we were all there celebrating for Mama's 70th birthday, which is a big deal, though she was a little upset. 70 is just a number. 70 years young. Many more years to come, Mama. 70 is just a number. Anyway, got me thinking about birthdays. Why are birthdays such a big deal? When did birthdays start? Did someone just decide, hey, I'm glad you're alive. Let's have a day to celebrate it. Or, hey, you managed to survive for a couple years. Maybe we should have a party. Because it's not like you're going to live for much long. Like, who? Was it just like, oh, hey, let's throw a party because you're alive. Because it seems like a weird, like, narcissistic thing to do now that I'm thinking about it. Kind of an odd question. So, I did some research. And Huffington Post... Um, was one of the articles I read, linked to that in the thingamabob, um, the little box below. Um, and they said that a lot of people, it's inconclusive as to when birthdays first started. Like, they have no idea. Now, it is referenced in the Bible. Um, I think Pharaoh, uh, in the story of Joseph, he was, uh, celebrating his birthday, um, he had a feast to commemorate his birth, and that was when he um, he gave the position back to the butler and hung, hanged the baker um, in the story of Joseph, when Joseph was interpreting his dreams. Anyway, that happened. Um, but then that Romans were actually the first ones that started having parties for... Um, for people that weren't, like, religious leaders or whatever. Which I think is kind of funny because Romans were kind of crazy anyway. They're the ones that were like, oh, hey, there's a big guy in, guy in the sky that makes lightning bolts. And he's the king of all these gods and there's this whole pantheon and oh my gosh. So, birthdays may be a method of, ins uh, maybe birth from insanity. They are kind of narcissistic, though. I will give them that. Celebrate the day we live. Though, it's also one of those weird things, like, because parents throw birthdays for little kids who won't remember them. Like, I've seen some of the craziest birthday parties for two-year-olds. Do you think they're gonna remember that they had a unicorn at their birthday party? No, they are not. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. That's just one of my many soapboxes, though. Children don't need big parties. They're babies. They're not going to remember these things. Anyway, I thank you for putting up with this long and rambling thing about birthdays. If you have any thoughts on the thing, on the topic of birthdays and their history and why they're so freaking weird, comment below. Let me know. Oh, also, <laughs> great fun. I get the pleasure of announcing, because it happened to me today, that Meredith texted me today. And of course, she used the wondrous excuse of, you weren't answering your, my phone never rang. You could have Snapchatted me. Don't use that as an excuse. That does not count. Erin was all up for punishing you twice, because you technically text her too. But I am willing to concede that since you text us the same message, it will only count as one punishment. Erin and I have talked about said punishment, and we decided that your wonderfully 
funny punishment that we're so excited to watch you do in your next video will be that you have to eat a meal. A full meal. You cannot cheat, Meredith. Don't try to find a loophole because I know you're gonna hate it, but you have to eat a meal and you have to videotape a meal of following the directions explicitly of eating improperly. I know you hate this. Let me explain a little bit more. Fork, you know how you're so delicate about holding it? Oh look, here's a crochet needle. Why is this here? You know how you're so delicate about holding a fork the specific way? You have to eat a whole meal eating like this. So have fun with that. And you have to videotape the whole thing. Holding your fork improperly the whole time. So yeah, that'll be fun. Can't wait to see that. Love seeing you guys today and I'll see you next time. Bye. You thought it was over. No. I got cuz I got three new pop toys today. Spider-Man who is obviously having a fight out with Green Goblin right now. And then we have Thor up there with Loki, which I'm super excited about because now I've got the whole pair. And then Reverse Flash, which is obviously fighting a losing battle with all the other Marvel characters. DC, you just can't win. Give it up, man. Give it up.